Devil train is that at this hour, boss? That's the gold bullion special from the Gal County mine. Now get this straight. No blunders. You two boys board the coach. The guard will be back there with the conductor. Yeah? Well, how do you know that, Dirk? Oh, Slater, the big boss said so. He's got it fixed. Gavin, you come on with me. Look out, Jack! Come on. What do you fellas want? Never mind what we want. Come on, get out of here. Hey, what are you fellas after? Go! Well, we got him. Hey, you got him, eh? All right, put him down. Come on, get up on you. Easy. Now all you've got to do is to tear open that steel bolt in the car and get the gold. I'll mark you look into that. We've got to work fast. Why should be humming with the news of this by now? Right, Mark. Get busy. Here's this strong corrosive cloth. All right. 
Follow the track to the mines and paint the rails wherever the rust has been knocked off. Will that work? Sure. Within an hour, the keenest eye couldn't tell if the train passed here. Well, I guess that's all of us, Slater. All right. Now, Gavin, thank you, men. Get that truck out of here. Remember what you're carrying. I'm depending upon you to deliver it. Meet me tonight at the Red Lantern. All right, Chief. Go ahead, boy. Thanks, let's see. Now, Dirk, it's your job to finish this special. Hey, it's too bad to destroy the train, Slater. Why can't we save it? It might come in handy. For the very good reason that we can't hide it and keep it on the rails. Now, we've got that 300-foot shaft uncovered and rails leading to it. You drop the train in there, and it's gone forever. I guess you're right, Chief. Down, Chief. Yeah. That's a good job well done. Where are your section men? Well, they ought to be here any minute now. When they come, have them tear up that piece of track leading to the shaft, throw it down the big hole, then cover up the shaft to make everything look just as it did before. And then let them try to find their lost special. Mr. Steele to see you, Mr. Moore. Come in, Steele. Have a line. Well, what's new? What'd you learn? Not a thing. Special disappeared somewhere between Newton and Earlstown. This is rank lunacy. There's a train disappear in the thin air, in the broad daylight. It's ridiculous. Three days have passed, and your men haven't found either the train or the missing crew. I've been over every mile of the division personally. The special was last seen by a section gang as she whizzed by a mile out of Kenyon. Good morning. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Muir, but your uncle can't see anyone. All the trouble about the lost special and all. Oh, but I must see him. It's very important. Well, now, baby, we better not butt in. We may not be wanted. Nonsense, Kate. Uncle always wants to see me. Besides, I'm a reporter now. And I have to see people whether they want to see me or not. Come on. The worst stuff it is, the stolen gold belongs to my worst enemies, Hood and Slater, owners of the girl come to mind. Hood uh, started to make trouble already. Says the state specific must pay for the bullion or he'll let her suit at once. I want you to put men on every spur in the siding, every deep cut, river, bridge. But we've done that already, Mr. Do it again. The train is somewhere. Find it. What the... Well, hello, Betty. What are you doing here? Hello, Uncle. I've got a job. I'm a reporter on the Clary. Yeah? I want you to meet my uh, assistant, Kate Bland. How do you do? Uh, what's all this foolishness about your being a reporter? Foolishness? It's not foolishness. I'm really a reporter. And I've been assigned to the story of the lost special. Well, the papers have already published too much. They've told about the mystery. Now I'm going to solve it and find the lost special. You keep out of this, Betty. You wouldn't even know how to begin. Oh, yes, I do. I'm going to investigate every siding, spur, deep cut, river bridge on the state specific. Come on, Kate. If you want to learn anything about the lost special, read Betty Moore's column in the Clarion. Goodbye, Uncle. Wait a minute, Betty. Now, don't you go into this. It's Hello? dangerous. Hello? 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 Moore? This is, uh, Potter Hood speaking. I just want to tell you that unless something's done to find that gold of mine, I'll make the state specific railroad look like a towpath. That's my ultimatum. I guess that's telling them. Eh, Slater? Yes. But we can't afford to start trouble with the state specific yet. We've still got the balance of the gold to ship. Yes, thanks to me. If I'd taken your advice, all of that gold had been on that car that disappeared. No one could foresee such a catastrophe. And now we've got to plan the safest way to ship the balance of the gold. Safest way. 
You're right. Wait here, will you? I'm going to go upstairs and see if Dad's in, and I'll be back in five minutes. All right, Tom. After that long drive from New York, I don't mind taking it easy for a couple of days. But not <laughs> hurry. Okay. I'm not so sure that shipping by truck wouldn't be safe. You know, we could put a half a dozen armed guards on each truck. Hmm. The band that stole a complete train in broad daylight would make short work of your trucks. Armed guard and all. Maybe you're right, Slater. Mr. Hood, your son. Huh? Oh, well, 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 Tom. How are you? Remember me? Remember, Remember you? <laughs> Tom, I'm proud of you. Proud of your credible marks and that remarkable football record. <laughs> I want to congratulate you, Tom. Oh, thank you, Mr. Tom. Slater. Sit down and join us. <laughs> well, Dad? What's new? 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 Great Scott. I spend $15,000 to educate this boy, and he doesn't even read a newspaper. Why, Tom, we've been robbed. The whole train with a carload of gold has disappeared. Dad, that news is three days old. Huh? I mean, what's new? Why, uh, new? Now, listen, Dad. I want to tell you where you made your mistake. Mistake? What do you mean? Well, that special train. Advertising a fortune on wheels. A great temptation for some master crook. Now, if you men had used a little judgment, it has shipped your stuff in a refrigerator car. As fruit, for instance. That's a great idea. Now, we have another shipment of gold. Good. Now, you send Bob Collins and me along as a special guard. Who? Bob Collins. He's my roommate up at the U. He's a great fella, Dad, and you'll like him. He worked his way through college on the railroad. Tallow pot, hog head and all, right up the line. Worked his way on the railroad, eh? Our correspondent will keep the readers of the Clarion in touch with every development of the mystery of the lost special. Good. I'll take these over to the office of the Clarion while you pack a couple of bags. Well, where are we going? To find the lost special. Mm. No, Tom. I want you to keep out of this. It's dangerous. But, Dad, I tell you, Bob and I are just the men for that job. Bob knows every foot of the track that that train would have to go over. And I'd just like to get my hands on the fellow that planned the stealing of that train. No, I agree with your father, Tom. It'd be much better to get a private detective. I know just the one we need. This is dangerous work. No one knows what became of the crew of the special. Slater's right, Tom. We've no assurance that that crew wasn't murdered. I want you to keep out of this. All right, Dad. Just as you say. Well, I gotta run along. Bob's waiting for me in the car. See you later. All right, Tom. Take Bye, care of yourself. You bet. Great boy. Hey, what's all the excitement? Plenty. This is one summer, Bob, that you are not going to be working on the railroad. No? How come? You and I are going after the smartest crook in the world. substitute for him on the fruit special tomorrow. All right. Then everything is set. Now you're to grab the train at Canyon Crossing, same as before. Now the boys will be waiting to take the gold at the place just about. Hey. Uh,
Hello, Calipot. Are we railroad men or are we? <laughs> Tell the world we are. Now listen, I know this state specific road from A to Izzard. And the place to board that train is at Kenyon Crossroads. I'll see here. Kenyon Crossroads? Sure. Well, it was a mile south there that the last special was last seen. Hey, yeah, but how do we know that uh, this train's going to stop there? They've got to stop there for water. It's the last water tank before they hit the long upgrade pull. Now, look here. She comes on the main line, the Miguel Conda mine, right here. Yeah? And with the right-of-way cleared for her, she'll make no stops until she gets to Kenyon Crossroads right here. All right. And we'll be there to meet her with bells on. Overalls, you mean. Oh, <laughs> come on, let's get her on. She's due here any minute now, according to the schedule I pumped from Dad. Here, listen. There she is now. Come, boys. Here comes our big idea. I hope it works. Yes, our cold storage gold train. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, Tom. We'll sneak around the other side and board her when she starts. Come on. No, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look. Come on, let's get him. Come no. on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Never mind what I mean. Come on, get off the train. What are you wearing this for? Don't worry about that. Come on, get going. All of you. We'll ride this train to its destination, and maybe we can find out what became of the gold special and the men that disappeared with it. Now, take it easy. All right, move on. Come on, into the back. Come on, move up. This looks like a wild goose chase to me. You know, Kate, that last special couldn't evaporate. Well, it isn't around here. Well, I've got to have it for my story. Oh, come on, Ben. Let's go home. There isn't a story around here. There's the people in the story, and we haven't seen anyone for the last five miles. Just the kind of a place where things happen. Come on, we'll follow the track. Jump to it, man. Lefty, you and Spike in the caboose. Right. Come on, Gavin. Oh! <laughs> 